I want to keep an eye on Five, the Reaper four, versus Ash battle, three, which one can get two, the most value one. in the most amount of time. Well, the round is going to start. There was some more talk in chat about potential picks and the wild card pick of Hammond, but we don't have to worry about it. Murray State slow start here. It's actually surprisingly quiet on King's Row as we start a fire strike pushed in. Good bait from Murray State. They're going to go ahead and push forward. They will have to watch out for Bumblehead, though, as he looks to join in. Great read from the racers. I think main event saw him drop down before he was able to get there. Unsainted at half health. Now he's being healed. Boston University looks to punish. Gavin gets the boop kill onto Unsainted, so it wasn't enough healing, and now Murray State needs to go ahead and, uh, yeah, use that revive. Go ahead and push forward here now, and they do. And here comes the fight on to the point. And this is where we'll see some important picks coming in from both sides. Bubble popped onto Bubblehead, so now Zarya will not have that in pocket. Murray State able to rotate the fight. Now they're on the point. Boston University forced to fight by the arch. And the, then the hotel, big charge from Unsainted. That's going to knock back King Zog. Chief gets the frag. But big plays from both tanks as they look to go forward and take this point here. Bubble again popped on Bubblehead. He has been a nuisance. But there he goes. As soon as I say it, Unsainted finishes the job. Boston retreats and looks to regroup. That, that prediction of the first point, I think, was spot on. Being able to just get one pick on this map and sending them basically like 10 miles back to their spawn is such a great advantage to have. This second this second route will be definitely the decider on how this will go. We are seeing a big difference this semester in the way that Murray State plays. And whether it's the coach or the attitude, everything looks different from the racers. They normally aren't this aggressive and push up. And while they are being pushed back now, thanks to the coalescence and the energy and the aggressive playstyle of Boston University, they are going to go ahead and stabilize thanks to Bob. Pushed in, bubble pop, sound barrier used. Boston University just trying to survive this onslaught from the racers, and now they return the favor of a coalescence. Perfectly timed. Laggy didn't know it was coming, but it worked out. Murray State really trying to survive, but Bumblehead with a triple, but it's not enough. Murray State still alive on that point. How do they do it? I don't understand. Even with the great plays by Bumble, main event, again, the clutch master is able just to pull out the shots from downtown Hello. with unsainted able to get two shatters within the span of king's Ogs one will will there be like a bumble play right here if there's any way that you get a very surprised shatter this is looking very juicy can they get anything four three people shattered it does get hacked though yeah good counterplay from the somber there main event just doing some more damage Trying to get the camera off of him for the time being, but camera is being ridiculous right now. There we go. As the team fight continues, main event is going to sit in that back line. And I think they know it. I think Boston is aware of it. On her gets the pick on Kingzog, though, so a little bit of a weird staggered fight going on here. Around P2, Murray State just continuing to push inches out of the payload. And the closer they can get, the better as they look to get those ults charged up. Neither team really there yet. We do see a coalescence building. On the side of Boston, there's an EMP though, and Murray State in trouble as they look to push forward. Coalescence popped immediately from Boston. That may not prove wise, but they are going to maybe get the pick. Laggy able to just about get behind that shield. It falls and Bumble gets the pick. Now Boston can push forward, and the racers again are going to have to recharge and regroup here to get to this payload. Yeah, that the Somber ult did come in at the very end, but... You know, it's very delayed reaction. I think that's what that Boston is kind of suffering from is the amount of time they could just react and everyone goes hard on it. I think that's the big thing that is kind of holding them back right now. But Bumble is able still just is able to just clash heads with them. And I think that is going to be one of the win conditions of Boston is keep that Reaper alive. Let him do his work and escape. Another Bob ready to go, and there it is onto the payload. Sound Barrier once again popped a counter. They are going to boot Bob back, but it's not far enough. He's going to do damage to that Reinhardt shield, trying to protect him, bubble keeping uh, Bumble alive. And Murray State looks to push forward with the power of a Valkyrie and a Bubble, a Shatter not finding anybody. Unsainted really trying to get a few caught up. There's a Death Blossom. Shield preventing the damage. Good movement from the Racers to shut that down. And now a, grav a Graviton from the side of Boston, but it's not really going to matter when... You know, it's just him and the Lucia left, and Murray State again, P2, in their control, and here we go on to P3. Bit of a, bit of a, uh, bit of an awful by, by a big knockout. I think that's really going to hurt him now, because now there's no threat of a, 
of a Zarya ult now because Bumble having Bumble at, with the with the Zarya ult is such a scary thing to have. It would delay them from pushing for sure. However, we do see King Zog with the shatter. He might go ahead and pack. <laughs> he tried to use it there. Blocked by the shield. Coalescence from Boston. Main event though. On the Tracer, I did not expect this Tracer energy from him with the double kill with the bomb. Two, three more kills from the Racers, just wiping the floor with Boston. And, uh, wow, uh, I expected a little more resistance into this, this, like, L hook here, but it looks like Murray State, all they gotta do is get a couple more picks. If Boston could even get there in time. Yeah, this is, I don't, they're gonna barely touch it in time. King's off bubbled. I really expected... A quicker fight onto the point. Bumblehead does take down Unsainted. So, <laughs> tank down. This Fire Strike killed Big Knockout afterwards. On her main event, cleaning up again. Great DPS teamwork. Flaw Filth on her, lighting up the kill feed and the revive. Great job from the racers at round one. That was that was a map. Or that was definitely a round taking consideration if you're on Boston's side right now. You know, MSU was definitely able to have the coordination of ults that Boston just could not have. It seemed a bit more like the Zarya ults and Newt Newt's, Newt Newt's hacks were a little bit more independent, not as much team guided. But definitely, I, I'm impressed by Murray's ability to, you know, keep in check of Bumble's, of, of Bumble's and Big Knockout's area. Yeah, Murray State really, once again, I think this is, we talked about this before the round. Great adaptability, great flexibility. And, you know, as soon as Boston pushes back, Murray State not panicked. They don't, you know, hesitate. They just regroup and take the next fight. They're not losing composure. I, I think they're uh, they're just doing great. We're getting a lot of love in chat right now. I'm really happy to see all this. Great, great chat support tonight. Great teamwork. Love to see it. Good push. Wasted ult. <laughs> Flavorous. Uh, Islan just says woo at one point. Blue and gold, baby. Blue and gold. And Kemper says those hybrid maps, man. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, a lot of love in the chat. Love to see it. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Um, really excited about the season. Team is looking great. Of course, I'm Woogie. Hey, thanks. Can't stop the gaming. Thank you for tuning in. And guys, let's give a lot of love in the chat for my new co-caster for Overwatch and potentially some other games this semester. Um, Gosh, I, I was so used to Counter Strike from last night. I almost called you Seth, but it's Swoony. <laughs> Swoony is with me right now, so let's give him a lot of love in chat. He's doing a great job, and we are very happy to have him. Although we do miss Tiger Mask too. Mm -hmm. Um, so here we go. I mean, we're we're just waiting for Boston again, taking a while to start. Uh, looks like Flav will be on that Mercy again. Laggy on the Moira. Um, what do you feel about that Reinhardt difference? I've, that's one thing I've been paying attention a lot more. What do you think about that? Well, I think now we'll see if it comes down to just unsainted or not. You know, it looks like Chief is going to run that in unsainted. Murray State's going to switch off a little bit of off rolls here on the tank line. Uh, now, oh. I, I say off roll. Chief, Chief historically was Reinhardt for this team. Um, but unsainted is a little more aggressive, and it works out in Murray State's favor. So we'll see if this makes a difference at all. Um. But I do think, yeah, big Ryan difference on the teams right now. It's um, You can kind of tell the difference in, in the aggression. You can tell the difference in when they choose to shatter. And, you know, and I, I know Unsainted likes to pop it every chance he gets, but um, he lands a few more than Zog does. So um, I do think it makes a big difference. Definitely. And, and I think also, what do you think about, let me ask you this, support difference? Oh, I... I... I think that the one thing that I've really noticed is that actually, honestly, not too much. I think great plays by both healers are really doing their job now. There's not too much that I can see too much wrong. I'd say maybe Coalescence could be used a little bit more by Moira, but you know, I think maybe maybe the Lucio, if they can switch off that and maybe grab a Mercy as well, but it's... I have no big complaints about it. I like the I like the amount of what I like the usage of their ults. It's great plays by both of them to be honest. 
Well, it, to be fair, it is kind of hard to be a support character when you've got somebody like the Chief nailing fire strikes from across the map to take down your <laughs> DPS character. I mean, what more can you do? And the racers just reading this perfectly. They know this play, and they're just putting in fire. I also want to point out main event on the Doomfist. So many little changes right now on the side of the racers as he gets a pick. And main event proving to be a huge flex pick for the racers this semester. Kingzog down by Doomfist as he gets a double on her Mo oh main event for the triple gosh. for the quad. Flawfilth with the revive and racers will defend this point easily. Main event is just making Boston uh, his punching bag. That is, <laughs> that is what you want to see when you see that Doomfist. It's just to pop off. He's gonna have ult now. He can get really aggressive. That's what that's what the Doomfist should do, and that's what I'm that's what I'm here to see. Thank you for censoring yourself there. Yes. <laughs> Changing it to punching bag. I'm glad you did. Uh, we'll see Boston pushing forward here, but Chief is going to shut him down. Along with on her, that's a tank and a support down. Those are big, crucial picks. Bumblehead down as well. Main event just being a nuisance. There's a charge from the Chief to take down. Big knockout. He's knocked out, and the racers are going to just continue to just... Uh, they're so aggressive on these pushes. They get the pick, and they push in immediately. There's no hesitation, and Boston is just suffering so greatly because of that. Yeah, not much value. Uh, New Newton Bumble can't really... The amount of space cleared by the tanks, there's no real value they can grab from that. I want to see if they can speed boost in there, go as hard as they can, but main event is definitely holding them at their throats right now. I'm saying to trying to use that grab to just kind of push them back a little bit. A, a shatter popped. It's not going to really pay out. Bob as well, and now Doomfist popping in. Murray State just putting a little bit in there, just trying to say... You know, get back, man. We, we don't want you past this gate. And Boston really having a tough time. They do have the high noon. They are going to have the grab of their own. But, you know, can you combine those to make it pay off? So far, the Chief, he's been reading everything well. I think it will de depend on if the Chief can get that shield up in time, if that high noon is going to pay off. Big pick on the, the main event. I... If they can get the res off, good, Look but at then this. now they're playing Look at out. this! Look the at this chief. shatter! <laughs> Unreal positioning from the Chief. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it was crazy. It actually didn't matter that much as Boston continues to push forward here. Honor and Flavville trying to stabilize with their abilities. There's a grab as Chief just tries to keep himself alive with the shield. He's going to charge in, try to continue to hold this point for as long as possible. The Racers, they might be able to go ahead and hold on to this here, though. Boston University not really able to fully capitalize. They do have a tick. There's Bob onto the point, and now it's a prolonged team fight here. Bob taken down immediately, though. Newt new popped his ult, and I think Murray State has to see this point as they look to get two ticks into the point. Murray State still being a nuisance here. There's Doomfist, main event to the rescue. Him and Laggy. Laggy's so persistent on that Moira. He's taken down. Here's the chief again though murray state here's their reinforcements they were able to stay alive long enough and it does seem to be a little bit uh of a difference right now in how quickly boston is they're not able to shut them down like murray state has been and here we go into overtime great great plays by msu not having to not having to use as many ults that fight while boston used used three of their ults but could not get the first point. So I'm, even with the stagger of a couple players down at the first point, they could still pull it forward. So I'm really impressed by this game, their ability to keep up their their wits. This is the, the quad kill right here for main event, just really harassing them as that Doomfist. What a nuisance of a hero. What a nuisance of a player in main event. And. I mean, a 10-minute King's Row game. Great work from them. Boston not even able to get all three ticks on the P1. Great job, Racers. Let's look at Unsainted real quick. You saw that in the little thing. He got 40 kills. I, I would love to see the amount of... The, the Zarya and Reinhardt combo of MSU was just... Was great. The ebb and flow of being able to attack and defend at any point given. I think that was one of the special keys that I noticed in their gameplay. That was just... That just surpassed Boston's in that game. So I believe we saw in the chat earlier that they will play until 9. We've probably got one or two more games, depending on how long they go, uh, left in the tank here. So we can take a second to catch up on chat.
Mixer and Kemper both said, uh, Mixer said, you're doing great, Swinney. And Kemper says, welcome. Uh, Skipper says, Flavville should play Brigida instead. He's clearly a noob at this game, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Kemper, Chief Ryan, hashtag throwback. Uh, somebody else said Flavville should switch to Brigida, noob. No goats. <laughs> So many ults committed. Yeah, play Lucio Ball or I riot. Well, don't riot over Lucio Ball. <laughs> uh, main event just highlights a message and just says, Doomfist. <laughs> uh, it was just a great game in general. I just love to see the, you know, the competitive aspect of it. And I just, I, you know, I'm excited for it because this is the taste of what they're going to get in... What did you say, about a week? No, I mean, games start Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's actually talk about that um, while we've got some viewers going on here. I'll bring up the calendar. Um, I don't know who we're playing yet in typical TESPA format, and I love you, TESPA, um, but we'll find out at the last minute who they're playing against. Um, but the game should start around 1 p.m. Uh, our time, Central Standard Time, Potentially, the games could run all the way to, to like 6 p.m. So I believe it's the varsity qualifiers uh, this weekend. And so what will happen is Murray State, if it's the same format as before, they'll play until they're eliminated um, up to like three different games, uh, maybe four in one day. Uh, so it just kind of depends. We could go for one game. We could go for several. And if they do really well, they'll make it on to Sunday. But... I have to say I love Murray State. I don't think that's very likely. I mean, you're talking about teams. There are so many teams that will be participating, and you're talking about teams that um, you know, Boston University A team will be in there probably if they're not already in the varsity league. Uh, Becker, uh, Becker Blue, they are a, a heck of a squad. Um, I mean, there's there's so many that will be in there that, that are so good. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but tune in around 1 p.m. We'll tweet out exact match times and opponents as soon as we know the opponents. But plan for 1 p.m. on this Twitch channel. We should be bringing you some TESPA action. And if Swinny can't join me, I'll be doing it here by myself. We're going to bring as much as you can, or as much as we can, to your computer screens. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I, I love to see the Valiant effort of even even with going into the test, but with knowing there's like there's people that have insane tracking, aiming, communication, you know, going into the beast without worry or just just giving just saying heck to it and just trying it out. I, I, that's what I love to see. You know, it's 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 Overwatch. Have fun with it. Compete. That's a great, great environment. I love to see that in the collegiate level. Well, and this is where you want to go. This is the kind of high you want to ride into uh, a competitive environment coming off these victories. And we're and not only where you're winning, but you're winning handily and your players are playing really well. So that's going to give them, like we talked about earlier, a lot of confidence for Saturday. And, you know, even if they go up against somebody like a Savannah, um, the SCAD Bs, you know, even if they go up against somebody like that, I think they're going to play really well. You know, will they win against somebody of that caliber? Who knows? I mean, anything could happen Saturday. Um, we've seen crazier stories in collegiate uh, Overwatch. So uh, that remains to be seen. Who's ready for a 180 shatter from Unsainted? <laughs> Shut up, Shark. Like, that'll happen. He said, watch me. Uh, shark doesn't hit his shatters. That sounds like a call-out main event. Um, Skipper is throwing a lot of love to Flav Filth. He said... Flav filth is my boo thing. There's a lot of love going on from Skipper. Uh, Flav, I think you have a, a a stalker in the chat, maybe? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm in Mercy Jail, Pepe Hands. Uh, yeah, lots of good good banter in the chat. And 15 viewers, guys. Thanks so much. Share this with everybody you know. Get the word out there. Hit follow. If you got a Prime, we would appreciate it. If you've got the money for it's here, one... We would appreciate it. Uh, as I like to say on this stream, the money doesn't go to me. Um, as much as I would like for all the money from the stream to go to me, it doesn't. It goes to the club, to the entire club. They're trying to get jerseys. We're trying to plan some events for the semester. Uh, every little bit you have helps because we are not funded by the university. We're a student club, entirely student funded. And uh, we do get some support from the university, but not official funding. 
So anything you can do will help. Subbing me out. Uh-oh. Looks like, okay, we might see Bonsai come in. I'm excited yeah, to see I'm what Bonsai can bring. I That is, you know, we've seen the double sniper meta with, even with uh, having a little bit on Doomfist main event, great plays. I've seen a lot of Bonsai when he was when he was doing his uh, tryouts. You know, great, uh, great um, projectile. So you know, I've we've seen his the Genji Doomfist. Even like I, even if he brings out Echo, I think that this would be a bit of a, a bit of a switch that it would be very greatly appreciated because especially for Hollywood, another hybrid map, this will be this will be definitely in favor. I think personally. Yeah, I think Bonsai can bring some interesting changes to the comp for Murray State. Um, I feel like from what I've seen, it, and I may be wrong on this, I might not have watched enough, but I do feel like Main Event is probably a little more flexible than Bonsai, but I've noticed the things that Bonsai likes to play for the most part. We don't normally see Main Event play. Welcome so it's I, I, this is exactly why you have subs, to bring them in for these sort of things. Can't Stop the Gaming is cheered 300 bits. Thanks for helping esports grow at Murray State University. Thank you so much. Let's get it. 300 bits. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. And here we go to Hollywood. What am I... How do you feel about Hollywood as a map, Swinney? It's very... <laughs> with... This... There's a lot of back routes that I think will play in favor of uh, Bonsai and Ferocity, two of being able to flank is such a powerful move in this game, uh, in this map. And I think that if they can pull off some great plays with this, this would be the most deadly map that you can play on. Unless they just keep, you know, they just have to keep checking their backs, especially the healers. But yeah, that's it's very up in the air right now. Are you excited about the big? meta shift in the uh, in this map with the elevators supposedly changing soon the elevators are changing uh, from what i saw on reddit today it looks like the elevators when they get to the bottom they're gonna like stop and they don't start until somebody gets on them and then when they get to the top they stop for just a second to give you a chance to get off the elevator. absolute gameplay changer you i know, know i i would love to see that torbjorn i want to see i want to see, torbjorn is personally one of my favorites to watch if you can pull that out really effective and you know i think it's it's just you know game changer there's uh definitely a lot of things that can happen there yeah murray state's gonna have to completely change the strategy for an elevator who knows what's gonna happen there uh <laughs> We'll, uh, we're waiting right now, Flav. It looks like he blue screened. Rest in peace, Flav. Um, you know, maybe they should have subbed him out instead. You know, if he's having computer problems, if you know, what are you doing, Flav? Jeez. Um, all kidding aside, we'll wait for him to get back. Should only be a moment. And uh, I would talk about compositions, but we've seen that change at the last second. Um, on her right now is is on May. I have no idea if that's going to stick, but if you are familiar with Racer Esport history, you are familiar with <laughs> on her on the uh, May, and uh, well, I think it was Bonsai, right? Bonsai uh, typically on like that Reaper. So many Kings Row plays in our history at that first gate. So many uh, ice walls just separating people. A lot of good moments. A lot of icicles. Uh, Definitely. If you watch some of our videos on YouTube, you'll hear me screaming about those. Um, I guess I'm supposed to call them endothermic blasts, but I'm not going to call them that because that's really, <laughs> really lame. They're icicles. That's what they are. They're icicles. Yeah, having that May definitely on this map. Unlike King's Row, where there's just a lot of sniper pressure, the first point is kind of cut off. So having that ability to just cut off a tank completely and just diving them is such a powerful move to have. And having Flav on Zenyatta, which is a bit different, I think that Transcendence can definitely come in use for that uh, gravity. Uh, Zariel. Uh, yeah, yeah. The grav There's t Having two gravity. gravity ults is just not fair for casters. <laughs> and, and you'll notice, I, you've probably already noticed in, in chat, probably notices as well, every time there's a Graviton Surge or a Gravitic Flux, I have to pause. Because in the heat of the moment, I'm like, 
Which grab thingy is it, for crying out loud? <laughs> like, how the professionals keep it straight, I'll never know. Kemper says, Woogie yell? Never. No, I, yeah, never, man. Flav is, jo- Flav is those, greater than Yeah, Jonah. we only yell at those four man kills. Like, yeah. That is, <laughs> we save those for those important gameplay. That is, that is the time when we just lose our, lose our minds. I mean, guys, I'm I'm casting from home, and my kids are are in bed right now, and I'm still getting hype. So don't knock the yelling too much, or I'll just have to bring back the WKMS Murray State University casting and Flopfilth on the Jonak. He's or Flopfilth is better than Jonak. He's gonna he's gonna play the Zenyatta, and there's his transcendence. Seems we got a little bit of MSU ASMR going on. Definitely one has happened. Unfortunately, Tiger Mask is not in the chat to enjoy that throwback with me. But I'm not going to do that, guys. I know you're just kidding about me yelling. And uh, how much more time can we fill here? Like, come on. Murray State, if for, for once, it looks like Boston is ready and we're waiting on the racers. They need to ready up here. Uh, 12 viewers in the chat, they want to watch some Overwatch action. And unless the comp changes here, I mean, again... Murray State's not ready, and it could change at any moment. But if they were to walk out of the door with this composition, uh, what are you what are you feeling about this? It's a bit of a unorthodox Four, three, thing, but two, I'm 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 one. definitely intrigued. That uh, there we go. To... Last last minute take switch there, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But oh, the, okay. The Zenyatta though is still in play. I was kind of surprised to see that. I don't see Flav playing Zenyatta too much. So um, we'll follow that and see how it goes. Bumblehead early pick on on her. So the May is down. A little bit of crowd control loss. The racers will continue to press forward. They don't need to regroup for that. Kings are getting the fire strike pick. As Unsainted falls as well in Boston. They must have brought out the ringers because, wow, they are putting up a hold so far. But it is the opening 30 seconds or so of the round. And Murray State will regroup here. And uh, I think Murray State just trying out a few unorthodox things here and seeing what they can uh, what they can do. Bumble being able to put a lot of pressure on Bonsai this fight, this is... I'm curious to how this will go, and having that ability to push forward a lot is definitely helping them. Sombra in the back line. Flawfield needs to watch out. His health is so low. Sombra vor vorticity gets the kill on him as Chief gets uh, a kill as well. Bumblehead takes down Unsainted, so once again, a tank down from Murray State, but they do still have the Zarya and the May. Good ice wall from on her to prevent a little bit of damage. Bonsai is going to go in and get the double on her to clean that up for the third, and Murray State, if they can finish off these last two players from Boston, they can go ahead and take this. Lucio still on the point. He is going to go ahead and back up here, and Murray State will take control of the payload, it looks like. Yes, definitely, I will say, definitely improvement by King Zog. Even though he lost the fight, the old charge is coming at the same base as that. So putting up the same amount of fight. Uh, I think Bumble, Bumblehead is being, I've noticed, he's being focused a lot more. That that may well able to just put him out of position a lot longer than he could have been. So having, just having that mate just delay an area is a great thing to have. I'm glad they're trying this. I'm not sure. I think Murray State might have not seen them for a second, but if they hadn't, now they have. It looks like uh, Boston's going to go ahead and pop down here. Payload continue to push forward. There's a shatter. Doesn't find anybody. Like on Saint, it just kind of wanted to back them up a little bit there. As the Reese's continue to push around this corner. Now Boston, be a little aggressive. Good read from Unsainted on that shield to block that. There's the Death Blossom. How many can they find? Actually, zero with the ult. And Laggy is going to take down Bumble. Returning the favor of popping that old in his face. He's going to shut him down a little bit. Now the racers with four still right around this payload going ahead and pushing forward. And it feels like I don't want to call out too many players negatively, but Bumblehead, I don't think he's found too many tonight with those death blossoms. And I don't know if it's necessarily his fault. I feel like Murray State is so prepared to shut down that old. Yeah, they have all uh, supports and everything able to deny him at any moment. The, the sleep, the freeze, the wall, the shatter. Just great CC by them, and I'm hoping that this will help. A lot of ults being invested now. A lot of chaos. We see a blizzard as well. Honor's going to freeze a couple. The Chief getting his double as Gavin takes down Unsainted. No revive there for the racers as Flawfield is playing Anna. He's hacked. 
In the back line, racers to the rescue. Vorticity taken down by Bonsai. Murray State just strolling along to point number two with now four and a half minutes on the clock. For, for tis, for, oh my God. <laughs> Vorticity even pulling off the five man hack, but not able to execute off of that. And that's a big downfall I can see from them, which if, if any of them can like execute on that, it would be such a great thing. Getting the kill on the on Bumble right here, like we can see again, really good. Yeah, Murray State has just been this way all night. Um, you know, in the past, not necessarily this aggressive. I like this ability to push up and be more confident of these kills. Now they're going to back off a little bit here. They've pushed Boston back. They've been able to move that payload some more. There is a hack on Bonsai as Lackey falls. He's going to have to regroup. But Murray State still, even every time they back up, they're able to have somebody still on that cart, pushing it forward. Now Insanta trades it out, and a big shatter! There's four! Murray State, if they can collapse on this, they'll clean it up. The bubble keeping two of them alive, but a big double as the supports are down. Kingsaw getting a kill, but it doesn't matter when you've got Bonsai getting two and on her getting one, and Murray State so close for the quick 3-0 on this round one. Definitely a different player from main event. The Bonsai able to be calculated. You just get these staggers from the side without pushing too far forward. This is looking good for them. Meteor Strike from Bonsai to deny some area, but an EMP comes in. But it was after the Blizzard was popped. A little bit of bad timing on the Boston side. It's all down to Bubblehead to stay alive on the point, but it's not enough. Murray State there. They do have Moira. They do have Lucio trying to buy their time, but the Ice Wall preventing Boston from sending more reinforcements, and now Unsainted will sit at the gate. And Murray State just needs to shut them down, and that's going to do it. 3-0 on round one. Holy great plays. I'm I'm impressed by the May Doomfist combo being able to be that effective. The amount of CC that they can just dish out in a fight is just ready for that. It's just I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's it, their their amount of CC is stopping me from speaking. It's <laughs> crazy. The classical throwback synergy between on her and Bonsai bringing that victory. In round one of this scrimmage tonight, Murray State Racer Esports Gold no. Team versus the no. Boston University B Team. And uh, if you've missed it so far tonight, been a story of Murray State dominance, taking every map and uh, learning a few things along the way. I like their, um, you know, winning is good, but I do like that they've continued to focus on trying new things and adapting to the situations. And uh, this may be another map where they continue to learn lessons here as Boston pushes forward. Murray State continuing with those heroes that they had before and they're still somber in play from Boston University. Laggy currently hacked in that back line. Ice wall from on her. Good ice wall as that separates and Lucio unable to climb over it. And now Bumble. Oh, risky move to go in there when their support backed off and it didn't pay off as Murray State was able to take down two players and now Boston will regroup. Murray State as well. They're going to back up a little bit here and now push forward. And the second team fight probably going to start pretty shortly. Yeah, that, like I said, that bumble pick is where it's all at in the in the end. Having Bonsai able to quickly punish. While Bonsai, I don't think is as aggressive as main, as main event, is able to pull off these key picks. That is just so so important to the team fight in a way and um, it's just really really good unsainted with a lot of trust for his supports playing pretty far forward in front of everybody here but you know, as the reinhardt he knows that chief is going to be there to back him up and we do see a reposition here from bumble he's going to put himself on the high ground and bonsai is called out out immediately he was in a good position to see that happen and now Murray State backs up and another big shatter from unsainted it finds two I don't think quite three, but Chief and Anher will clean up those stunned enemies. And Murray State again, great hold as Bonsai finishes off that play with a kill from Vorticity and big knockout down as well. Definitely. I, that that Anher wall, been, being able to stop, to stop a debil, deb, debilster from being able to heal. Like that fire strike just took down a lot of damage, having the Doomfist putting a lot of pressure on it. 
just that may is just putting a lot of stuff on it with having that mailed I think is gonna be a big dictator of this next fight Bumblehead again trying to, to relocate there on the high ground but he was separated from his team and as he tries to escape he's caught into the blizzard Flawfield with the grenade kill on Bumble Gavint is down as well and Murray State everything that Boston is throwing their way they're able to deal with and they've still got it will be in the next team fight two ults ready to go and uh, depending on how long that lasts, Unsainted might be able to charge another Shatter. And uh, in chat says, main event says he's not, <laughs> main event says I'm not in the game, sweetie. Come on, I think you accidentally said main event. And uh, Mixer says you overlooked the sub. Come on, chat, give him a break. Where, you know, come on. It was a slip of the tongue. I can barely pronounce half these people's names. Five man hack, that's such a great hack to have on there. Yeah, big, big EMP there. Murray State really in a world of trouble. We've seen them deal with these situations, though, before if they can stagger the right way. But Honor and Laggy Loot both taken down. I think Boston will take this. Murray State trying to continue to engage, but no, they're going to go ahead. Smart play to go ahead and back off. This is not one you can stagger easily. Very hard point to enter. And Boston will be able to push forward here, taking a point on the board. I'm a little curious if they can... Uh, if they're gonna keep them A for this next point, because Ash is 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 known because of how many high ground there is, you can take advantage of that. That'd be really good to have. So potential switch for either team here as we enter the second part of this map, the second third of this map here. The Graviton coming in, Murray State brought together. They tried to combo with the Death Blossom. He does find one. He's bumbled to stay alive. There's the second kill. Not a bad result. There's the third kill from Bubblehead, and while the Death Blossom didn't take everybody out, Bubblehead will go ahead and complete that kill streak. And Boston, good combination there, good teamwork as they go ahead and push forward around this next curve. Murray State looks to stop them at this next point. And uh, what do you feel like's changed here for Boston? They're playing a little bit better on attack this round. I I, I think that is really good. They're cycling out ults right now, but I'm also looking at MSU being able to push without ults. Now they have it for this fight. Even Kingsy Zog is still able to get a lot of kills, even with all their old usage. Really good with that. Yeah, Murray State really struggling right now. I'm, I'm, this is really a big testament to Boston, and it feels like they've got the momentum, and now Murray State may be in their own head a little bit here. Uh, Murray State was dealing with everything up until that team fight. Boston basically just wiped them. And since that moment, Boston has looked unstoppable. They do take P2, and, you know, now, though, I don't know. The fight could change. There are four ults ready to go for Murray State. However, do you think... What, I don't know. Here's my hunch. Look how aggressive the Sombra and the Reaper are playing. Do you think that's factoring in? We've seen them be aggressive before, but they are being very, very aggressive right now and just keeping Murray State on uh, on their toes. What Do you do you think that's maybe making a difference at all? Definitely realize uh, Flav is putting in a lot of work in the, in the back line. Having, being able to put pressure on Flav in there is so important, and I'm, he's just one of the key points of being able to win a fight. Yeah, support's having a tough time, like you said, but here's Unsainted, he's nanoed, he's angry, he's charging, misses that charge, but the racers are there to help him clean up, and Murray State with the ults, as we said, able to turn the tide, and now they can push forward and be aggressive here as well, but Boston... They're so close to where the payload is, they can come out of the store and pretty much get there right away. Good ice wall to slow them down a little bit. And I think we'll enter this fight with a little more even odds here. Well, actually, no, if you look at it, yeah, they did so have to close. use three ults for that one fight. Will that be worth it? Was the investment worth it for this? It'll, it'll, it'll be on Boston oh. if they can pull it through. And it's going to be nasty because there's an EMP. There's the Death Blossom. How many are they going to find? It's just one. Bubblehead once again getting a second. Vorticity getting his kill as well. And the racers almost wiped Honor on his own. Trying to survive and get away. But it's not enough. And wow, Boston has turned it on this map. Yeah, that that is... I am, I am genuinely impressed that this... If they can bring this back, though, the spawn is so close. If you just keep take a chest, keep spawning back on it. They've got the graviton, the doomfist main, or er, excuse me, uh, bonsai, able to go ahead and slam to prevent that last second little push. Wow, King Zong da is down. That might be crucial as one tank has fallen. Bumblehead as well. If they can get the Zarya, that will be very, very crucial here. Murray State putting everything they can onto this payload. There's a bubble. 
for Big Knockout. He's still alive, and so is Gavin. Those are two crucial heroes on that payload right now. The Moira is still back there as well, and you notice Murray State unsainted. He switched to the Monkey. They need that mobility, but that's three taken down on Boston's side. 50 seconds remaining. Murray State stabilizing here will be crucial, and they need to go ahead and push this payload back as much as possible as Boston has two, uh, well, now three meters left as the payload slowly trickles back. I'm excited to see that monkey come in into play for this one. Uh, we haven't seen much monkey in in the past maps, so using this as more of hitting as many enemies as possible, I wonder if this will be enough to just dish out the damage of this. Yeah, I kind of understand switching to it in the uh, the panic moment. Wow, King Zog, what a shutdown from the Chief as he tried to pop the Shatter. That is going to be crucial because now they don't have that. But they need to be careful of the back cap. Now they've noticed that the Builder taken down, and that's going to finish it. Murray State will shut down that incredible push from Boston, and what a great last-minute defense from the Racers. That was, I, that was so good, having... I think that the switching out the bon switching out main event and bonsai was a uh, was an interesting choice. Main event, we've seen him be he's very good at the the amount of harass he just keep putting on the back line. Like last game's King's Row, he just put the amount of harassment he put on that McCree was outstanding. Bonsai is really calculated in the amount of like key picks he can get, putting a lot of damage on that Lucio who who is putting who's very slippery i've been watching him you know he he's yeah. putting out a lot of damage getting that old charge it is insane yeah and i was actually you know you started talking about main event and it is kind of like two sides of the same coin because main event when we saw him on that doom fist he's getting in there um Traveling you know he gets the flashy quad mm -hmm. all, using all of his abilities and taking care of that meanwhile you compare that to Bonsai, and it's like, okay, no big quads, but that meteor strike with like 2.85 meters, so crucial and calculated exactly where he needs to be. And he wasn't doing it just at that point. It's every time he invested an ability, right place, right time, you know, exactly when he needed to be there. So um, kind of interesting how two different people can play one hero in, in different ways. Definitely, definitely. I'm excited to see this uh, Zenyatta come out. Even, oh, we've seen it before, or we saw it at the beginning of the game last time. He did switch off of it, but Dorado is such a, a first mm. point map that many times we've seen that people just get held for the first point. So having the transcendence on Q, it, it's such a great thing to have. Dorado home to some interesting game for the racers in the past. We've seen Brostradamus himself, now the coach for the Racer Esports e Gold Squad, came up big with some uh, plays of his own on this map. So maybe looking to uh, lead the racers to a little bit of victory here as we wait for this map to start. I have a feeling this is the last map. We are at 846, and I believe we saw chat say earlier they're playing until 9 from the team. So uh, probably the last map tonight. So... Let's act like it is. If you're in chat, let's get some hype going. Uh, can't stop the gaming redeemed 500 channel points and said future Overwatch League casters. Thank you, man. That's too kind. <laughs> really too kind. Um, Boston toggled on. Yes, they did. Yeah, that last map, that's for sure. And Mixer says they're no longer bossed off. They are now bossed on. Don't let that shock you, racist. <laughs> yeah, I want that King King Zog, Zog put, put out the put out the swings in in the last fight i just thought that was really impressive Attack the amount of just space that he could seconds. hold was you know i think it's it, it makes him a very big target not only bumble but having that that reinar constantly swinging i mean it's they, interesting to see how it goes they looked unstoppable when they were on the roll there i i really mm -hmm. didn't think they were going to be stopped Five, so kudos to murray four, state three, but two, that map is done now we're on dorado we do see Bonsai back on the Doomfist. Chief and Unsainted on their tank rolls. On her on May and Flop Filth. There he is on the Brigida. Much to the recommendations of chat. It's the last map. It's time for a little bit of fun on support. Brigida not necessarily meta all the time now, but we'll see if it pays off. Murray State dealing with that Sombra and pushing her away. Still on that payload. Ice Wall separating King Zog. 
Big ice wall, big freeze. That's a tank down. Now Murray State can really capitalize. Bumblehead as well, caught between a rock and a hard place, is on her, takes him down for the double. And Murray State looks to enter this chokehold. And the fact that they've dealt with all of these people before they get to this point of the map is crucial because that is such a death trap. And now they can push forward into this courtyard. Having Flav on that spy check is such a great thing to have now. <laughs> negating <laughs> negating uh, Sombra to, to get the key hacks, I think, is you know is a really great thing to have. Especially on Dorado, where disabling him is just, is just crucial. Thank you for saying spy check. I feel like playing TF2 now. I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Vicicity in the back line as that spy. Bonsai on her, unsainted, getting the kills. Chief as well, joining in on the party as Bumblehead takes down Flav. On that Brigida, 65% to a rally in Murray State on P1. Five minutes on the clock. And this is a good pace for the racers. Real Gup says Flav on the Brig. That's right. I thought I heard a follow notification or something, but I don't see anything popped up. So if somebody followed and I missed it, I am sorry. But Murray State, here we go, pushing forward here. Interesting stage of the map. I, I always feel kind of weird about this stage of the map. There's a lot of high ground. And uh, Bonsai is just sitting up there raining down a little bit of damage. Now he jumps into the fight. Unsainted takes down King. He's trying to show who the better Reinhardt is as Bonsai gets a kill on Vorta City as well. That's a Sombra dealt with. No longer having to check that back line. Pushing forward in a Blizzard ready to go as Murray State looks to stack these ults. But they need to be mindful. King Zog, big knockout. And Vorta City approaching their ults. D Bilster has it as well. So this will be an interesting fight as they enter this point here. Wow, Honor, what a brilliant play with the ice wall to get the high ground and deal with Bumblehead. And even if he doesn't get the frag, he's dealt with the threat. Bumblehead dropping down. What a five stack kill. Oh my God, what a combo of plays. This is where we're truly gonna see if, again, last time, whenever MSU got played a little bit like they they need to come back. I'm curious if they if they can make the plays to re-engage this payload and take it back. I mean, they have three ults in stock ready for this. That that freeze is what I'm looking at right now. They could probably pop it before the Lucio. On her has got to be mad at himself right now. He had Bumble isolated and all he had to do was freeze him, but he was unable to. There's a blizzard. There's an EMP. Two frozen for Boston. They need to capitalize now. The racers as the chief kills Bumblehead. That's one down for the racers unsainted in the fight. Bumblehead down as well. And now this is a, a staggered kind of uh, asymmetric fight going in a little bit here, but now they collapse into one point on the right side of the payload. There's Bonsai calculated as ever. Laggy with the coalescence kill. Chief as well. And Murray State looks to uh, kind of reposition this fight around the next point and they're not going to have any resistance here as they enter this compound this is this is Flav's playground because he is just swinging the amount of the amount of damage output and like the stuns the you know the whiplash is great to have right now and I'm excited to see that hey real quick because the follow didn't pop in chat and I happen to be looking away at the time it popped in Thank you so much, Mixer. Mixer bought a hoodie on our merch store. Check out our merch store. You can buy some great merchandise there. Thank you, Mixer. The club really appreciates your support. And uh, hey, in a way, it kind of benefits you too. And now Murray State, look how much farther ahead they are on this payload. That pushback is so strong to have. Denying them to get up their position and stop getting a couple kills on him. That is insanely strong. And shout out to the 30 viewers we have in, in the stream right now. We really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight to check out some collegiate esports and a scrim. Ooh. And Unsainted taking down King Zog again. He's had his number this map, that's for sure. We're just going to see uh, a little bit of ult invested here and really the only resistance. Here's another Blizzard. I'm surprised to see, yeah, uh, Vorta City, it's almost too little too late on the May to counterplay that. And Murray State running away with round one. This, the team is incredible. Anora is just Mr. Freeze out, out here. The amount of you know, denying that is insane. How has it taken I'm me just, two semesters to call him Mr. Freeze? Like, see, this I, is. I this, try to use the incredible and in Mr. Freeze as a. <laughs> that's why we've needed you here, man. Like, I, you know, I've had all this time. I called Aziz the uh, stable machine. Like, what kind of a stupid nickname is that? Mr. Freeze is perfect for <laughs> for on her, and his his uh, his may play is legendary. Chat will tell you. 
Uh, big fans at Murray State of uh, on her on the May. I know it's not his favorite, but he's so nasty at it. Definitely, definitely. So uh, round number two. Murray State going to look for a clean defense here. Plenty of time on the clock from the Murray State perspective. Incredible freeze, says Mixer. Yeah, I mean, he's he's unreal. Um, if you go watch, oh, I think it was the fall 2019 uh, highlight that I made. Um, there's a, a, a particular icicle play. He gets just like a cross map shot, and it just it drove me and Sean insane. We just started screaming. <laughs> yeah, Aziz says Bonsai's got his special spot on the map. Yes, uh, here he is. <laughs> oh, this is going to be juicy. So we'll see. I don't. What I have no words for this, honestly. I am. I I'm interested in how this will play. I don't have any predictions for this. I'm. You know, this is all up to how it goes mechanically. Immediate ice wall to just kind of uh, annoy them here. Here comes Bonsai leaping down like Batman. Trying to uh, get the damage done here. Let's see where the first pick is going to go. Bonsai has been hacked. Somber read that. Bumblehead getting the pick on Unsainted. Murray State has to be careful now, but Flawfill says, you take a tank, I'll take one down as well with that mace kill. Kingzog down as well, but much less distance for Kingzog to run. Bonsai's in trouble. He's dead now. As soon as he was in trouble, he was taken down, and Murray State will have a little bit of trouble here on defense. Um... You know, Brigida just does not, in my opinion, have that healing output that Murray State will need for a stout defense here. Yes, I'm looking at Laggy right now. He is even he is putting out a lot of heals right now. Even when even when Bonsai was hacked in the first first little bit, still kept him alive. But will it keep him up anymore? Chief, Chief takes down Bumblehead as uh, Mercy tries to back them into a corner here. Good bubbles, good kills, good shutdown on the shatter there. King Zog tried to counterplay that shatter, but Murray State shut him down right away. And now the momentum has swung, and Murray State unsainted with the fire strike kill as they push forward. Bonsai knocking his opponents all around the map and cleaning them up and showing that, you know, hey, I can make a, a flashy play as well. So, uh, wow. All right, here we go. Uh, one defense done. Two minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. Mary State in a good position right now. A couple ults on the way. Uh, definitely uh -oh, the advantage. They, see, um... <laughs> they know now. Sombra's just trying to <laughs> do it, but here comes the meteor strike. He could evade. He could just get out of there. But he's going to use it to slam down and try to get the kill. He's bubbled for protection. Saints, he gets one. There's the shatter. Bumblehead down as well. There's Vortic <laughs> Vorticity down as King Zog also falls. And Murray State will clean up the kill on big knockout if we can let's replay that no i'm just kidding we don't have that sadly <laughs> uh okay uh Vorticity was popping ult and then bonsai to took him out really quickly with everyone's help i thought that was the amount of the quick reaction of taking out the somber ult as she was popping it great play great play by msu that really changed it we will see the blizzard murray state just not letting them get out of spawn Bad manner, spawn trapping them like crazy. And this is totally a different story from Havana where they let them take point number two to extend the map. Murray State just looking to finish this out cleanly with a minute 16 on the clock. And we have 34 viewers here as we enter our last map as Boston looks to come out the main entrance here, pushing forward to the payload. Murray State still with a stout defense. Ice wall trying to separate them, but here come the ults. Death Blossom, Grav, a coalescence. Who's going to come out on top? Bonsai with the double. Unsainted. Laggy. Flav. They're all getting on the scoreboard as the racers look to wipe them. And a team kill to cement what looks like a certain Murray State victory on Dorado. That was... I don't even know how to explain it. The amount of denial that they can just... That they could just put on onto Boston is... Is rather insane. Not giving, not even giving Bumble the the, the room to hold that. that was oh crazy. my but God! One eighty shatter. I'm unsainted. I can't believe he pulled it off. He looked the other way. He one eighty. There's the blizzard. There's the meteor strike. They want to finish it in style, and the racers celebrate, capping at forty viewers with just an exhibition match of ults on Dorado. Eight seconds for Boston to make a difference, 
and I don't see a way it's gonna happen. This is what you love to see in Overwatch. Getting the death break, can they can they put it on the ult? And unsainted the story of the night. There's a double, but a shatter from King Zog. Maybe they can extend it here. Unsainted though. No, Murray State. No, they're gonna shut it down. No, forget it. Big big play, King, but we gotta shut you down. And Murray State takes another map. And I think that's gonna be it for the night. Murray State. <laughs> Murray State. Uh, with not a single loss all night. Thank you for the follow, Doggo Treats. We'll watch this play of the game uh, as we finish off the night. Wow, what more can you say from the racers? I'm just generally impressed. The, the amount of coordination that they pulled off, we've seen the plays that they can pull. Even some unorthodox, you know, styles with the May, the Doomfist. You know, the double snipers having the ability to switch on a moment's notice. Great thing. That's you would love to see. And always give a props to Boston. You know, he played well, happy for the scrim. Amazing time, you know. Great, great job. This is what you love to see in Overwatch. Yeah, great learning experience for both teams and really great energy from both teams. <laughs> Yet eyes of the situation as they push forward the bubble already popped. I'm not sure if that was really necessary at this point. Wow, Unsaint is being aggressive. Bonher is getting a double to open the round again. So Murray State off to a good start, but Bumblehead returns.